Hi everybody, I'm Corey from RecPro, and today I'm going to show you how you can uh, swap out an old RV electrical outlet with a brand new RV electrical outlet. It's uh, fairly straightforward to do. Uh, it can be a little tedious, it might take you around 30 to 45-ish minutes or so. Some tools you might need include a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, or drill with a Phillips head bit, uh, some two blocks of wood, a C-clamp, one other thing you'll also want to have is an outlet tester to make sure your the power to the outlet you're changing is off and to check to make sure the wiring is done correctly when you've installed the new one. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the install. The first thing we'll want to do is uh, shut off power to the outlet by uh, turning off all the breakers. We'll turn all of them off just to be extra safe. After we've done that, we'll test the outlet that we're going to replace with an outlet tester just to make sure that the power is indeed off. Once that's done, we'll use the uh, flathead screwdriver or a similar flat device to um, pop off the faceplate covering. Then we will use a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips head bit to uh, unscrew the old outlet from the um, cutout hole and we will pull it out. Then we will um, use a flathead screwdriver uh, or other such device to pop off the back of the old outlet and uh, from there we can pull out the old wiring. Then we will take our new outlet and we will use a flathead screwdriver to pop the back off of that. Uh, and we will make note of where on the outlet it says white, ground, and black. That's where the wires will be going. We'll line the uh, wires up with those spots uh, as marked on the new outlet, but we'll use the back cover to kind of hold those wires in place. Then we will use the two blocks of wood and the C-clamp to gently compress the back covering together uh, so that the back covering can fully push those wires into the slots and hold them securely. After we've done that, we'll take the back cover back off uh, and we'll put our uh, second wire layer on there and we'll basically repeat the process of lining up the wires, putting the back cover on and uh, using the wood and C-clamp to compress it until it's all uh, nice and tight. Once that's done, uh, we will take the new outlet and insert it into the cutout hole. And we will use a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips head bit to uh, tighten it in its installation area. Then we will flip the breakers back on or turn the AC power back on and test the outlet with our outlet tester to make sure everything is wired up uh, and it's getting power. And if everything is wired correctly, uh, we will put on the new faceplate, and that's it. And that's about all there is to it. Like I said, it's a fairly uh, straightforward process that can be a bit tedious and should only take you around a half hour to 45 or so minutes. If you like this video and you want to see more of what we do in the future, including more uh, tutorials and how-tos, as well as other new products that uh, we have, uh, like this video and remember to hit the subscribe button. And remember, when you're rolling down the road, roll with RecPro.